A biologist and an engineer walk into a lab. It's not a joke, but rather a great way of creating high-tech tools. Biomimicry or bioinspiration, it's called. You take something found in nature, take one or two of its properties, and create something useful to humans. The 2008 Nobel Prize winners in chemistry did just that. They took the fluorescent glow of some jellyfish and created a light by which to watch different cells move and grow. Locally, UC Berkeley biologists and engineers are working together to create a very strong adhesive, strong enough to help move a gecko up a wall. We're at the California Academy of Sciences in the Tropical Rainforest Exhibit, and we're on the Madagascar level. And right behind me are two species of geckos that we keep here. There's the Hinkle's leaf tail gecko and the Standing Stay gecko. Well, I think things that appeal to visitors are, are animals that uh, can do things that humans necessarily can't. So one example with the geckos is that they can climb vertical surfaces. We wanted to know how things could climb. And so we picked the gecko. They're spectacularly good at that, and we didn't know why. They can run up a wall at a meter a second and take 30 steps in that one second and pull their toes off in milliseconds, thousands of a second. And we didn't know how they could do that. So we zoomed in on the toes, and what we found is the toes have these leaf-like structures with millions of hairs that kind of look like a rug. And each individual hair has the worst case of split ends possible. So 100 to 1,000 split ends. And it's those tiny little tips, those little split ends, that get very close to the surface. And they stick not by glue or by suction or like Velcro, but they actually stick by intermolecular forces alone. Once the biologists understand how something works, it's the engineer's turn. It took us three months to figure out how to get a gecko hair to, to adhere. And the secret turned out to be that you had to take the hair and drag it against the surface just like the, the gecko does. Otherwise, it won't, it won't adhere. So the way we're making the, the gecko adhesive is basically to take a uh, sheet of plastic, very thin plastic, and we mold hairs onto the surface of the, of the plastic. So we end up with a, a film with um, about 40 million fibers per, per square centimeter. The adhesive is tested for strength, and the engineers have found that the stronger the weight, the more the adhesive sticks. A pretty big improvement from Scotch tape. We never thought about making an adhesive out of hairs uh, until we looked at the gecko, and that we believe that engineers would never have looked at this kind of solution for a novel adhesive. It just shows how important curiosity-based research really is. Engineers and biologists may go about researching a little differently. With engineers, it's uh, a lot about results and it's basically refining different methods and uh, approaches. But with biology, it's uh, coming up with a brand new hypothesis and trying to validate that through testing. Um, so it, it gave me a, a very different approach to how to solve problems. 